What's up everyone? My name is Sharmina, repping the 604 unceded territories of the Coast Salish peoples, including the Musqueam, the Squamish, and the Tsleil-Waututh nations. Welcome to my band tour. This is my van named Sky. She is a 20 20 Ram Pro Master 2500 159 inch wheelbase. When I bought it at the dealer, it was uh, it was empty. I checked out four different builders actually and settled for one. So I'm really happy with the one that I decided to go with, which is Pura Vida. So feel free to check out the sticker right here. My vision for this van is I wanted. A rolling cabin something that I can take on weekends with me I want something very rustic and feel more like a cabin welcome to the cabin the first thing you're gonna see is this flip-up table I really love this because this is where I do a lot of my cooking and it also matches the, uh, the colors of my cabinets here which I really love Welcome to my kitchen galley. So I have three overhead cabinets here. This is where I have the switch for the inverter. I have a 2000 watt inverter and the switch for the fridge is also here. Another thing that I really love about this cabinet is it's so durable. So I've taken this to the back country and nothing has ever fallen out. You just have to make sure that you uh, press the the lock to to make sure it's uh secure so that when you're traveling nothing is flying out over in the kitchen galley you're also going to see a max air fan so you're going to notice i actually have a couple one here at the front and then also another one at the back there right on the bed coming back to the kitchen here i really really love this acacia countertop so this is actually something that i've chosen i love it really because of the chevron design but also acacia is really good because it's very durable it doesn't warp and then the second thing as well is that it is antibacterial and it's anti-mold which is really great for van life. For the water, I just basically press my water pump there. The water comes out here. I have this gorgeous porcelain vessel sink. And I really love this. I really love this uh, gold faucet as well. Now, when you're not using it, you just want to make sure that you turn that off. Otherwise, it's going to just drain your battery. But I really love it. So it has two settings, just the regular flow and the spray. Over here, I have a 49 liter fridge. I really love this. Uh, this actually stores a lot of food. So I can store a week worth of food in here. There's not a whole lot of things happening here at the moment. But there's also a freezer. Now we're in the spring ish summer in vancouver so this is gonna come in really handy for ice and ice creams and things like that so i'm really excited about that it doesn't actually draw a lot of power either which i'm really happy about so strongly recommend this if you are looking to purchase um, a fridge this one this brand i've been very happy with anybody hungry I love hosting when I have friends over and, and we're camping together. I usually have my tea party, uh, tea party platter here that you see. And what, one of the things that I really love about this lagoon table as well is that I can basically move it around in any direction as I please. This is where I do a lot of cooking. So usually I have it set like so, and I'll have my stove here. I actually have three stoves on board. The one that I use uh, most often is this one burner. It's a butane stove. Usually I have that sitting here, and then I just look straight on to enjoy the view. So I really love that. When I am cooking outside, I just move this table over here, and basically I'll have all of my food here. It kind of serves like an extra storage or extra prep station. And I just stand outside and do my cooking. And also it's really great if I am working, uh, if I am working remote and I just have my, my laptop here and I can just stand comfortably and just have my laptop work and also enjoy the view. 
Welcome to my dinet set. This dinet set sits, I'd say, one, two, three, four people, but two comfortably. But not only does it sit all those amazing people, but it also serves as a storage. So let me show you. So in my dining area, the first thing is the Dometic. So I have a Dometic toilet, Dometic cassette toilet, super easy to use. And it is about two point and a half gallons. And it lasts for, I'd say about, well, depending, I guess, on how often I use it. It's only for number one though. Um, so I could use it for maybe a week, two weeks and, and toss it out, but it's super easy. So let me just show you because I actually had to search on Google how to use this, but you basically just pump it to pressurize the water. And then all you need to do when you're using this is you want to make sure you pull this guy over here so that that's open and then after you pressurize it about 10 times you just press this button at the front here and that's how it flushes and it doesn't smell at all one of the things that i like to do especially when i'm camping and it's raining outside and there's nothing to do right rather than just stay instead of just staying in your van and you can't watch movies outside well i like to just watch uh forest videos on youtube from the van and the first thing i do is i basically just pull down my screen this is where the projector lives there's also um there's also an outdoor screen in here and so this is really neat because we were actually in whistler about a couple of weeks ago and i've always wanted to just experience uh, outdoor movies outside so we had this huge um, white screen that the projector came with and you could actually hook this up to your laptop you can hook it up to your TV stick you could hook up your Xbox in here if you want to play games but I just hook up my my uh, laptop and watch movies or watch YouTube watch forest on here so this is it and welcome to the garage so this is a queen bed underneath the bed is what we call the garage and this is where I store all of my camping equipments right now I'm actually charging the van with my EcoFlow so this is an EcoFlow River Pro it only takes one hour for this to recharge via the um, uh, shore power it also recharges through solar which I do have I wanted the bed to look like it's floating when you're inside it looks like okay well where is it sitting right until you actually come to the back and see oh okay it's resting on this but then you will also see four manila ropes where i have my uh, plant wrapped around because i want it to look like it's suspended up on the ceiling but it also serves as a great decor for me to basically have plants or my mosquito net wrapped around it. I have these portable bike racks uh, that I made. I actually just bought these two tools, bike forks on Amazon. It probably costs around $120. And this is just a wood that I have in my, in my other garage. And uh, I just painted it black. And basically, anytime I have bikes, um, I just put it on. And I put my bikes here so in the beginning when I was able to travel more um, I would use the other half of this storage as a wardrobe closet so I actually have hangers there that's where I would hang my shirts usually like my jackets like my snow jackets my snow pants for snowboarding and things like that sweaters because they take up so much space one of my most favorite art that's in the van is from this native artist so I have it rolled up right now because we're showing you what actually lives in the garage but when we're not doing a van tour my favorite blanket of all times is what covers my things because people don't need to see what's under the garage. I have a van for a number of reasons. Gosh, how many hours do you have? <laughs> The first reason why I have a van is because I needed 
I needed a, a vehicle to get me out into the, the wilderness and the outdoors more often. So um, how I came about this is that I've always, I've always had a dream that once I purchased my first home, the second goal was to have a house like a cabin in a lake somewhere and with all of the um, the just the things that are happening around BC with the forest fires that is always so prevalent during the summer now we've had these flooding issues that wiped out a town and all these environmental disasters that are keep on happening I thought well maybe owning another property is not the best way to go and then it came to me when I was laying on my couch during the pandemic you know what is one thing that I want and then I started thinking about life reflecting on life what is important what do I really want what will make me happy and then this question just kind of came to me if sky was the limit then what would it look like and I'm like that's it I'm gonna get a camper I'm gonna do a van conversion I'm gonna name her sky and then I started looking and then I watched several YouTube videos including yours and just immerse myself in what that would actually mean for me and that after about three months is when I started looking at different um, different bands so i looked at a sprinter i looked at a transit and then settled on a ram pro master and really it's more not not to really live in it full time at this moment but really uh, a space where i could just be outdoors go camping and not have to pack all the time like camping is so much fun but it's a lot of work you have to pack all of your gears and then you have to unpack all your gears when you get home and this pretty much i just stop at the grocery store load the fridge everything that i need is here and off i go and i hit the road the one advice that I would give to someone is don't rush into it. It is van life is not for everyone and you have to make sure you do your research. Um, if that requires for you to maybe try out uh, outdoorsy and RV easy are great source. It's like an Airbnb where you could actually rent out different campers. Um, you can test them out and see what you like about them what you don't like about it and kind of get a vibe is this something that you could do on a full-time can you commit um, because it is quite expensive especially now um, it costs a lot more to buy a van uh, and also to do a van conversion whether or not you're doing it yourself or you're going to hire a builder like what the direction that I went for um, it's it's uh, it's not cheap van life has taught me so much I've actually learned so much I've learned not to consume so much you don't need a big house you don't need a big home you don't need to travel even I, I think there's so many things that actually happened for me personally during the pandemic it forced myself as I'm sure a lot of people that are watching this could probably relate we're stuck at home we're now forced to think about what's important to us right is it that next home is that next car is it that next job when all of that stuff doesn't really matter for me I find the most joy when I'm outdoors so just being outdoors gives me a time to just silence myself from all the noise living in the city so that's really important to me i am able to reconnect with nature and then through that i'm able to reconnect with myself and to listen to myself which is really important have a chance to just really reflect and be thankful for the things that i have um van life has so far i know it's only been a few months since i picked it up from the shop but it's taken me into so many places before this i would probably travel to other countries but i'm starting to realize there is so much to see in british columbia um, every time i hit the road and experience something or see a different place 
and I come back it's like oh my gosh I've only scratched the surface there's still so much more to see so I'm very grateful for that um, my outlook in life in terms of what fulfills me what makes me happy how much do I really need how much water do I really need like I usually have 20 gallons of water quite surprisingly the longer I've been traveling I'm only able to use less which is a good sign because then that means I'm being more conscious about you know how respectful I'm being with the environment right how am I disposing my garbage what kind of products am I using these things I would never think about if I didn't get into van life the reason why I started renting the van quite frankly started before the build even started so when I was doing my research and I was having conversations with myself is, am I just going through a phase what do I want to do with this right I kind of looked at my whole build the same way with real estate because it technically is a tiny home it is a tiny home on wheels it is a rolling cabin and it's gonna be a very expensive endeavor um, there's three things whether you're buying a house or you're gonna start a van life for me personally this is what I did can I live in it if I don't live in it can I rent it and then what if those two don't work out can I sell it and I look at my property um, my container the same way when I decided to buy that condo those three things came to mind right and the answer is pretty much the same I don't have any plan of selling it right now but renting is definitely something so why renting it out well personally I I really do enjoy my work. I work for one of the largest global um, SaaS company, which is amazing. I do enjoy my job. I enjoy the company. I'm, I'm, I love my team. I have no desire of leaving. I have the option to work remote as well if I want, so I can actually work in the van if I want to. But um, I knew that I won't be able to take it or live in the van full time. And so I actually rent out the van twice, only twice, only twice a month. So I host two guests. Um, the van sits and sleeps two people. So I accept two guests, guests a month. And why do I do that? Well, I really want people to get into van life. So, so far, I can tell you about the recent people that have rented. They've rented because they want to try out van life or they're in the middle of a build and they're trying to figure out you know how do they want to finish the build I want to share this experience with others I find that I'm a lot more humble I'm a lot more grateful I'm a lot um, just more respectful to the planet ever since I started vanning so I'm really I'm really liking myself <laughs> for that and I want to be able to share that experience with others the second reason why I rent out the van is because 7% of each rentals actually goes to uh, the IRSSS the Indian Residential School Survivor Society so every time someone rents the van 7% gets donated to Indian Residential School Survivor Society and I think that's really important as a Canadian I think that we have a um, responsibility to rewrite our Canadian uh, history and I'm pretty grateful that um, through the van I feel like I, I'm able to give back well not really me because it's more collectively right the, the guests are the ones that are renting so I'm able to then donate some of those proceeds to Indian residential school, so, school survivors so I'm pretty happy about that my van is posted on glam camp onwheels.com again that's glam g l a m c a m p so that basically is like glamping on wheels but that name was already taken so again it's glam camp on wheels.com you can see my posting on sky the van the rolling cabin on outdoorsy's website and also it's posted on rv easy for Instagram, I'm most active on Insta, which is Glam Camp on Wheels.
If you would like to be featured on different media, there's a form you can fill out to be on the podcast or to have your van toured. And if you're interested in watching more alternative dwelling tours like this, we upload every single Sunday. So hit subscribe and new van life and chill podcasts every Thursday. Thanks everyone for watching.